After all that monkey motion, we decided to do this the right way because it's got to be safe. So we went to the store. We got a piece of three by three, 250 wall, quarter inch wall thickness. So I'm gonna take these side plates, weld them to the frame better. We're gonna weld this across between the two. Then the receiver is gonna go on the underside with some support gussets. And then finally, we'll get some triangulation back to the frame. This will be bulletproof. Now I have to grind this clean so that it's weldable. I'm also gonna put a little bit of a bevel on the edge so that we've got a little bit of a V to weld into so the bead isn't just sitting on top and we'll be good to go. We're gonna be welding the hitch onto these brackets that have been previously welded to the frame, and there's some sections of the weld that are okay, others that are pretty boogery, so to be safe, I'm just gonna go in here and plug weld through some holes in the frame on both sides and then it'll be beef. But I will be welding to rust because I can't grind in here. Well, on this truck, the spare tire is mounted under the bed right here, but with the location of our receiver hitch, the hitch is actually gonna interfere with the tire and I don't want this thing hanging under there anyway, so away it goes. There you go. Why loosen bolts when you can make sparks? Yeah. Go ahead and tack it really quickly. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Okay. Let me admire the handiwork, Freiburger. Yeah, triple check everything. Wow, that looks boss. Check that out. Yeah, it's beef. Once we get that triangulation in there, I trust that. Wow, that's almost not roadkill. That is a BAM. Trailer hitch is done. We've got this thing welded on four sides, triangulated in this way. We got this thing all welded up. We got triangulation back that direction. I'm actually pretty proud. So now we can move on. I'm gonna let Dulce channel his tail light wiring and we're about ready to hook up a trailer and be ready for tomorrow morning. Our plan today is to hook up the trailer to the F100 and we're gonna tow like 120 miles, which is gonna end up being like three and a half hours all the way to Hot Rod Ranch in Lompoc, California, where not only is one of my project vehicles there being worked on, but we also bought a brand new car that you're gonna see hopefully soon if we make it there in one piece. You ready for this? So far, so good. forgotten about the majesty of the FMT. This thing just cruises. Well, you know, I'm really glad we got it fixed because I needed a multi-purpose truck like this that you can drive every day. It's really good. With air conditioning. And looks stylish, too. Which hooligans are laying all this rubber on your street? I don't know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, ready to break in your new true track? Actually, I'm kind of afraid. Really? Yeah. That'll be fine. See? Wow, pretty good distance, too. Sweet. Oh, that was a little scary. No, True Track's good. I've never done a trailer burnout before, though. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I bet you I looked really, like, stressed out when I was just doing that burnout. Really? Like, oh, yeah, I was just totally scrunched up in anxiety. <laughs> About blowing up your new rear end? Yeah. Yeah. And the trailer and the whole thing. I was uh, like, oh, man. I think you're right. Did you load your diaper in here or what? Oh, that wasn't me. Really? <laughs> that was you. Did you? No. No way. <laughs>